Hey folks, what I'm going to do in this video is stay on the subject of GoTo++ with Astro Photography Tool and I'm going to show you how to solve an image and then use Astro Photography Tool's GoTo functions to set a location on an image so we can take custom location pictures of wherever we want. So for example what we do here is use the Leo triplet as an example and I'll show you how we line up to a custom spot on the image so we get all the three of the galaxies of the Leo triplet in the same image. So as you can see we've got the normal screen here this is Carte du Ciel and EQ Mod showing the telescopes parked. So first job as before unpark the telescope, check side real rate and move this out of the way. Next job is to slew the telescope to where Carte du Ciel thinks uh, M66 is. M66 is uh, Messier 66 which is one of the galaxies in the Leo triplet. So click on the drop down here. We got M66? No, M66 is not in the list. So click on find, check for M, type 66 click find there it's gone over here found this galaxy here which is the M66 but obviously if we slew the telescope to M66 it doesn't mean that the other two galaxies well the three galaxies are going to be lined up nicely in in our camera so first we'll slew over there and then we'll take a photograph and see where we are and do our first plate solve so the telescope slewed over to M66 you can see look um, This is the uh, the camera, and M66, as far as Cartier Seal is concerned, is uh, right in the middle of our camera lens, but or in the middle of our telescope uh, field of view. But it's not as we've seen before. So next job, go over to APT. Like this, and um, we've got the camera connected. The scope's connected and the focus is connected. So the first job, as we did before on the Bode's Galaxy, is to take a uh, an exposure, plate solve that exposure, and that will tell us where Cart du Ciel is actually has actually pointed our telescope. So we click shoot here. Exposure started. Exposure started. You just pause this while it does the exposure. And there we go. Exposure's finished. Yes. No, 30 seconds. So there we go. Exposure finished. Exposure finish. There's a photograph of the sky. Maybe it's pointing at M66, but I doubt it. So, as before, point craft and do a blind solve. As I said before in the last video, it can take 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds before uh, the software decides where we're looking at. Image solved. And there we go. So it's success solved. Now what I'll do now, <clears throat> just to show you actually on card to seal, before I click the show button and the sync button, is I'll go back to card to seal, just there. And what I want to do is try and yeah, there we go. That should, this should work. If I move that off over here, and then I move that there, and <clears throat> now you should see actually what happens on Carte de Seal when I click the show button. Remember this is where Cart du Ciel thinks M66 is right here. So we'll click show and it's actually there. So as I explained before it's way off. Click on sync and that will then synchronize Cart du Ciel with the telescope. Now we've plate solved this initial image. Now as we did before click objects just here and this brings up a list of the objects that are stored in APT's database. M66 is here, I've already selected it. When we double click M66 it will put the right ascension and declination values in this box, in these boxes here. 
just like that and then we click as we did before go to plus plus and what this will do is it will slew the telescope back to M66 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift this over like this so we can see Cartier Seal in the background and click go to plus plus and you'll see now look the telescope is actually coming back to M66 Exposure started. So it's moved the telescope. An image is now being taken. Let's just move this back over here like this. Uh, it's a, I think it's a 30 second image, so I just pause this for a second. Right, photograph's nearly finished. This initial uh, photo we're doing. Exposure finished. And there's an image of the sky somewhere in there go to plus plus finished is the Leo triplet <laughs> but I can't see it at the moment you can see it's actually within it's within 19 pixels so it looks like something is down here so what we'll do is we'll take a longer exposure picture to see if it reveals anything before we uh, move on from this what I'm also doing is leaving the point craft box up for now but I'm going to move it just out of sight here so I can get to my camera controls and we'll take a image of this, uh, which we do we'll just do a one minute image Let's see if we can get some more light in see what's actually photographed exposure started and I'll pause that while it's taking the image right so we've got five seconds left to see what this is a one minute image let's see what we can see when this is finished exposure finished I just stop this image and see dithering started okay can't actually see very much there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this I'm going to save this image as a JPEG and upload it to um, astrometry.net and this will solve the image and tell us what's actually there so just bear with me Okay, so we're on astrometry.net website. I've saved the image as a JPEG. Click on upload on the website here. Very useful resource this is. Uh, click on browse and need to go to camera one. Today's date, 16th and 2nd. Where is it? There's the JPEG that I've just saved. This is the, this is the, uh, the raw file. That we just created this is the JPEG that I've just saved so click on open that and click on upload what this does is it uploads the image to astrometry.net and they will actually annotate this image to show us exactly what we're looking at but I've looked at the the image we just took on another screen a slightly darker screen I can actually see the three galaxies in that image but we'll let this carry on and, sh and see what we uh, we end up with I'm just going to pause it while it uh, while it solves. It takes a couple of minutes. Okay, so they've uh, solved the image that we've just uploaded to them. Go to success here. So we go to results page. I'll load up in a second or two. And this will show us the image that we've just taken. So you can see that this is the image that um, we just took. And M66 is actually smack bang in the middle of the picture, which is what the plan was. We couldn't actually see it, but that's where it is. The other two uh, galaxies on the Leo triplet are M65 and NGC3628. So that it's over here. So it, I'm guessing that if you took a photograph of the Leo triplet, you'd really like these three images to be somewhere in the center here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how we do that with APT and the go to plus plus functions so there's the image what we'll do is minimize this and go back to APT so there's APT this is M66 in the middle here can't see it but it is there there's uh, M65 and the other one is over here somewhere by this star wasn't it so if we want these three images to be more or less centered this is how we do it so what we do is we move our point craft back over 
at point craft box. Remember we moved it off to the side. If you close this down, you have to redo the plate solving. But I didn't, I just moved it away. So here it is here. And what we do is we click the aim button just there. And now wherever you click on this image is where your plate solve to. So I'm guessing that if you've got a galaxy here, a galaxy here, and a galaxy here, if I was to click perhaps there, you see it's put the the bullseye just there. That should start to send to this image. So I've clicked there on the image. And now we click go to plus plus again. This is going to bring up a box here that says, Do you want to sync the scope? with the solved image it is better to sync the scope if the current image corresponds to the scope's position well it does but we don't want to do that so we click no what this will now do is it will move the telescope a slight amount to try and get exposure started try and get the image centered a bit more in relation to these three galaxies so going to take another image and then re plate solve so I'm going to pause that while it does this 28 seconds, I think we're doing 30 seconds Exposure here, 30 finished. seconds. You'll see the image has now moved. There's one, there's M66, there's M65, and the other one's over here. So Go to plus plus and finish. it's um, solved it to within 48 pixels, which is close enough. You can set all that, what you consider the minimum amount of pixels it wants. If it doesn't find it within what you set, then it keeps doing it until it gets it closer. But uh, anyway, so here's the M66 now, it's over here. And I think that's M65 there, and the other galaxy is just there. So is it in the centre? Not quite. We've got a bit of space up here. We need to come down a little bit. So we'll redo it. We'll click on aim and click just there. And click go to plus plus again. And click no. So another image is now being taken. Telescope's moved. See if you can keep your eye on just this image, this this galaxy here and these three stars. There's another galaxy. I don't know if you're able to see it on YouTube. But you'll see these move in a second when the image is complete. Exposure finished. There. So now these one galaxy is there, one galaxy is there, and another galaxy is over here somewhere. So we can use that as our position for the Leo triplet. It's pretty Exposure much centered. Started. Oh, and uh, it doesn't like it. Look, it's within 50 pixels, so it's going to try and move it again. Interesting. So let's see what it does now, see if it gets it a bit closer to where we said, or where, to where we told it to go, which is just here. So three seconds left. Let's see what happens now when it's... Uh, Exposure finished. Yeah, it's moved it a little bit more. Now it's going to solve again. And we should get a reading as to how close we are actually to Go where to we plus, want to plus finish. How it's within five pixels, so pretty good. So M66 is here, M65 is here, and the NGC galaxy is somewhere over here, but can't see it on the picture, but it's pretty much well centered. So another great feature of this is, remember we, we looked at the list. Let me just bring up uh, the objects list. When we looked at that list, you've got all these uh, messy objects and NGC objects all listed here we can only go to M66 and then you have to faff about doing all that moving around to, to get it centred centered. with APT what you can do is you can click within the point craft box this button here store and what this does is it stores the location i.e. the RA and deck locations in its database so if you click store it now brings up the, the objects browser but on the custom tab now I've already saved this once but I'll save it again to show you what uh, what it does so you type in the box here Leo triplet put some other information in if you want you can put all this info as well um, the type it is I mean it's a galaxy cluster don't need to worry about any of this and then you just click save now you've got the Leo triplet saved in your database. So when you want to go back to this, this image and go back to this particular spot here, you can by using the APT plate solving routines. Pretty cool, huh? 
So what I'll do now, as I did with the last video on the Bose Galaxy, is I'll just take a longer exposure just to see if we can see the three galaxies comprising the uh, the Leo triplet. So we can shut this point craft box down now because we've done it's done its job. We'll go to camera and choose an exposure time. We'll just do one minute at 800 ISO. Exposure started. And I'll pause the video while it's doing that. Okay, so two seconds left. Exposure right. finished. That's exposure finished. I just stopped. Dithering started. Exposures like that. Now you can see it a bit clearer. Now I think it's this one here, this one here, and probably just there. But I can't see it very well on my screen. I need to do a lot more exposures with a um, lot more time on the exposure. We've also got the moon out tonight, so that doesn't make things easy. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll upload this to astrometry.net and we'll compare the, the two images that we did. The first one where we solved it when the galaxies were down here and now this one here to just show you that uh, it's actually moved and it's pretty cool and all that. Right, there we go. I've uploaded the image. We just have to wait for it to solve on astrometry.net here and I'll come back when it's finished solving and then we'll compare the uh, the two images that we've done. Okay, so that's finished. We'll go to the results page on here and let's see what it shows us. Just wait for it to load. Right, there we go. So that's the one we did earlier. There's M66 there in the center, M65 there, NGC3628 just there on the right hand side of the image. This is the one we've just done. So M66 is now there, 65 is there, NGC. 3628 is just there. Could have dropped it down a little bit further, but um, I think that's uh, that's pretty nice. So uh, there you go. That's how I choose custom locations to photograph with my astrophotography setup. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.